me Morgan and today I'm going to do a full out hair tutorial 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 from start to finish um, I don't know how long this will be but we are going to do this from the start to the finish today I'm going to do a braidless crochet half up half down um, with the bun so there will be a bun up here and then the back will be out so I did do this before when I did it last time it was my first time doing it and I had black hair um, it was just like a color 1B or 1 um, but this time since it's fall time yay I wanted to do an ombre so I'm just gonna cut to the chase alright so I got this hair from Sam's Beauty and the hair I will be using is the sensational Jamaican bounce and this is a 26 inch length um, it's a T1B27 and it's part of their African collection so the first thing I did was I washed my hair so I shampooed and conditioned it while my hair was wet I parted it in half and I am natural um, just let y'all know this could be done on natural hair all types all hair types so I parted it down the middle so straight down here and then in the back I have a ponytail and at the top I have a ponytail and I just kept it in a ponytail because I needed it to dry so what I'm gonna do now is I am just going to take it and I'm going to make a braid up here and braid this back <laughs> I have my hair in a bun at the top and a bun in the back let me tell you guys before I even put my hair up I did after I washed it I moisturized it please make sure you moisturize your hair it's very very important so this moisturizer I have I made and it looks like this it is castor oil coconut oil shea butter and peppermint and this jar was like full i just used an old victoria's secret jar and washed it out but i handmade this um trying to be more natural and this has been working like wonders if y'all would like me to do a tutorial on how i made this concoction let me know because it's definitely helping with my hair and my hair growth so i did that brushed it and i used this what is this edge booster and lemon um, to lay the edges down so we're gonna get into it now okay so you're gonna need your crochet hair and this is so simple um, once you get the hang of crocheting it'll become very very easy I'm still working on it but you're gonna need a crochet needle and your crochet hair so this is what the hair looks like it is this um, 1B blondish color and I'll be using this to achieve the style so I'm going to start in the back and I'm going to turn around and hopefully y'all will be able to see it um, I'm not be able to see the back of my head but basically you're just going to crochet the hair into your hair if that makes sense so you're just gonna go in your hair and crochet it okay I like to hold the hair like this and you're gonna put it through your hair while it's open and then once it's in you're going to hook it and close it and pull it back so that's what I'm going to be doing in the back Thank you. 
finished the first bottom row so what I'm going to do now is just keep going um, and do the back part and when you get to the ponytail back here you're just literally going to go around it and as I get closer I'll turn around and show y'all it's going to be covered up by your hair so you won't even be able to recognize it so I'm going to finish this back part okay so this is one pack of hair but this is one pack i'm gonna turn around so y'all can see um how much i used so this is one pack so i did this bottom part underneath and now i'm about to do um this part so basically i'm just going to go in around the bun i'm not going to do it in the bun only around it <laughs> Alright, so I have done two packs of hair so far. Now I'm going to turn around so you guys can see what two packs looks like. I am about, I think I'm pretty much done like right up here. Now I just have to do um, this part and my bun will be covered. Alright, so I finished the back. I'm going to turn around so y'all can see what it looks like. But yeah, it's a lot of hair. Like you don't have to use this much. Um but I like my hair extra big and full as y'all know so here's the back of it now okay so now I'm going to do the top and basically with the top however full you want it is up to you so I'm going to put them around the bun you are not going to put it in the bun you're going to put it around it so start I like to start very very close and I'm actually going to take this bobby pin out because I don't need it anymore because I have that um hair tie but you're going to start very very close to um your bun and then go out okay so since I'm doing the front I'm going to go ahead and show y'all up close because this is easier than the back so I'm very close to my scalp. You're going to take it and you're just going to pull it through. You're going to hook it, close it, pull it back through so it looks like this. Okay. Take it off. Looks like this, you guys. Okay. And then you're just going to do that. Pull it tight. And voila, bam. Okay, so this right here is one wrap around at the top. So y'all, we did the back. And this right here is one wrap around. I'm going to go ahead, depends how big you want it. Um, this is basically basically how I will have it looking. Um, so depending on how big you want your bun, that's how much hair you're going to put. And I might come back and add some more hair up here. But I want my bun a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use another pack or half a pack and wrap it around one more time all right i'm done with the top i'm just gonna go over here and add pieces in the spots that are kind of empty uh-oh sometimes it gets a little crazy like when you have it you want to make sure like it's not sitting like that you want your hair to be covering it so it's all good it's like semi almost symmetrical okay so the top part I'm not doing anything to except putting it in a bun the back part I'm going to pull some apart and I'm going to get my razor comb and kind of like shape it a little bit all right you guys so now that 
the crocheting. It's finally done. Um, I don't know how long it took because I was not keeping track of time, but it doesn't take that long. You could probably do it in less than an hour. Um, I have my bun, well, my hair at the top, which I'm going to make my bun. I ended up using about four and a half, five packs of hair just because I like my hair really big. Uh, I've seen people get away with three packs, so you can definitely use that. Okay, so the top part, I'm not doing anything to it except putting it in a bun. I'm making sure that I have all my crochet hair where it's supposed to be and pushing it very closely. So I'm not cutting it, I'm not combing it out or anything. All I'm doing is taking this rubber band. So I have this rubber band in my hand and I'm going to pull it through so it's all the way down covering the crochet pieces and I'm just going to pull it well after I fix that I'm going to pull it back and make my little bun so there we go this is the bun this is the bun so you can like fix the back and make it however you want it back there um I like it like this I really like this so this is it up close you can't even tell okay so now I'm just gonna go through and pick out the hair um I'm not gonna pick it out too much because uh, since this is crochet like synthetic hair it does get tangled very easily and it is at night so I'm gonna lay down and go to bed so I'm just gonna pick it out just a little bit and like see I just pulled the pieces out like this y'all can see that um this is not the hair's fault it's my fault because when I crocheted it I guess I missed a piece and that's why it came out so don't worry about that so you kind of do want to go through and just make sure like those pieces that you missed when you were crocheting are coming out um so yeah so now I'm just going to go through it and kind of pull them apart because I don't want them looking that uniformed. I mean, at the top, I do because that's how I like the bun. But at the bottom, I want them looking a little bit messy. And if you have hair and it's like not even, you can pull it and make them, make the sides even. <laughs> Alright, so that's all I'm going to comb out for now. So basically, you are all done. Um, I'm going to take my edge brush and just brush it down some more. Um, my edge is in the front. And what I love about this hairstyle is like, um, your hair literally will just stay like this. Like since it's so slicked up in the front, it just stays. And that's why it's very, very important to um i mold my hair so i put it half up in a ponytail and in the back while it's wet um so it just stays down better so if you do it when it's wet it just is more sleek and it just looks like you know bam you got your edges and everything you know what i'm saying but uh, i'm gonna leave the link to sam's beauty i found this hair at the beauty supply store but not this color so sam's beauty has like every color all ombres one colors highlights like all that stuff and it's cheaper and it's just i don't know it's easier so the hair was i think like 6.99 or 7.99 a pack i'll leave the link to the hair so y'all know um where it is all right you guys so hopefully you guys saw how i did it and it's just a very simple hairstyle i think the last time i had it I left it for two weeks but mind you I do work out like literally every day so me working out with this was also a challenge just because I had to put it up and then um, when I had it up in a ponytail like it got a little bit tangled but next time I do it I'm gonna do a high ponytail 
I did a high ponytail last time, I think, too. But I'll do a high ponytail. But let me know if you guys like this style. I think it's very cute. Um, it's also a cute summer look and a fall look. So let me know what y'all think about it. If you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them. And thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.